Good morning, welcome to beautiful Marsh Landing. We're here at the client's house. Uh, they contacted us about getting a new paver driveway and some hardscapes around the back. The original driveway that they put in when they built the house back in the 80s, so it was time for a replacement. So we came up with a new idea with pavers and a neat design here in the center just to break up the, the area. So let's go to Mike and see how everything's going. This is Mike Oaks with Earthworks. We're here in Marsh Landing this morning. Actually, for these next couple weeks, we have a pretty big project out here. 46 pallets of Belgard titanium and also with a slate. So we'll have the titanium as our field and the slate is going to be the access on the outside. And also there's a giant circle that's going in the middle. We're going to be doing facing of the steps and then of the existing walkways up top by the house. So we'll be putting remodels. We'll call them remodels because they're half of the paper size of what we have originally. We're in a pretty tight area too. We're in a cul-de-sac, very, very limited staging areas. Concrete that's in here, we pulled all that up. I have six dumpsters coming in, so uh, as quickly as I can fill them up, just as quickly as they're going out. Once we get all the concrete out, we'll start doing the excavation of our dirt and getting everything down to the proper grade so we can tamp and then add our crushed crete in and get all of our proper levels of everything, make sure everything's away from the house towards the road. Week two, out here on the barn horse job. We have a lot of crush creek going on out here. We have big old dump trucks coming out and dumping all this stuff. This is all being made by them also. This is something a little bit different than what we normally go with. They're actually taking concrete, busting it down, and making us some fresh brand new crush creek. This is our fourth load. Just so you know the differences, one of my jobs I just went to recently, I noticed one of the homeowners was taking it upon himself to do some pavers, and he was actually using the play sand, which we have here. As you see, when it gets wet, it, uh, it does stick, but once that wetness goes away, it becomes back to sugar sand again, and it just deteriorates, and it causes erosion. So the reason why we use the crushed crete is because as you see, when you ball it up, it makes a nice ball. It doesn't fall apart. You try to do that with the sand, it easily deteriorates. If you have any questions or concerns about the differences between the, the substrates, definitely give us a call or ask your salesperson when they're out on the job. What we had out here, we had existing like 10 feet of pavers in the front area here. So when we're ripping up pavers, usually we always think about the road because normally the pavers are level with the road and when we go to do our excavation, so what we do is we just come in, cut it as close to the brakes as possible. That way I'm not replacing the whole road. Uh, and then I come in with the asphalt patch, lay that in and then we tamp it. So we do two layers. So we do one layer, we tamp and then we do another layer and then we tamp that again. It just gives you a nice, secure, sturdy area so your car can pull up in. I also have this raised up slightly compared to the road. That way we can kind of keep some of the water in the road and not washing down our driveway. This is something that we do include in our services. When you get a new driveway, if there is some breakage in the road, don't worry because we're able to fix it. And 45 to 65 days, we're gonna come back out and we're gonna do a sealer on everything. That's gonna darken everything up. So when you see a little bit of discoloration inside the videos, that's just because some of it's wet, but the finished product will look like a matte finish throughout the whole thing. So everything will be uniform. The slate will darken up, become actually like a slate color. The titanium, you'll start seeing a lot of the blues and the grays and uh, the white pop out of that. And all that contrast will go to the house because the house has the grays, the whites, you know, and then you have all your plants, so everything will start popping. On the border, we do between two to four inches of concrete underneath the border. That's a that's a upcharge. So normally we do the concrete on the sides, do like a little wedge. Um, that kind of locks everything together. But if you want it a little bit cleaner, you want the grass to grow all the way up to the edge of the pavers, you put the concrete underneath and it kind of gives you a little bit of a cleaner, modern uh, curb appeal. Welcome back. Let's take a look at the final project. We're here doing a few last minute touches, sod and things like that, but let's take a look at the final product. So we kept the driveway the same. We just added pavers, replaced the concrete with pavers. When I met with the clients, they wanted a bright color, uh, but something that blended with the house. So we decided ultimately on the titanium uh, and we used the slate as a border just to, to amplify the edges. Here up in the main motor court area, we ended up putting a a slate circle just to break up the expansive field of titanium uh, so it wouldn't be so bright uh, and and I think it turned out great. As we wrap up this job we're moving on to the next one and we hope that that next job is going to be you. Check us out on earthworksjacks.com or give us a call at the nursery. We look forward to hearing from you soon. Thanks and have a great day. <music>